It's four o'clock a.m. It's still too hot. Wet heat's squeezing the city. The air's mist. The liquids that's seeping out of human flesh pours. It's gonna harden into a smooth, shiny shell. So we're going to become reptiles. No one wants to move anymore. No one wants to be in a body. Physical possessions can go to hell, even in this night. Johnny, like all other New York inhabitants, doesn't want anything to do with sex. He hates sex because the air is hot, because feelings are dull, and because humans are repulsive. Like all other New Yorkers, he's telling females he's strictly gay, and males, all faggots, all to burn in hell, and they are. He's doing this because when he was 16 years old, his parents, who wanted him to die, stuck him in the merchant marines, and all the marines, because this is what they do, raped his ass off with many doses of coke. Baudelaire doesn't go directly towards self-satisfaction because of the following mechanism. X wants Y. And for whatever reasons, reasons, thinks it shouldn't want Y. X thinks it is bad because it wants Y. What X wants is Y and to be good. Baudelaire does the following to solve this dilemma. He understands that some agency, his parents, society, his mistress, etc., is saying that wanting why is bad. The agency, his authority, is right. The authority will punish him because he's bad. The authority will punish him as much as possible. Punish me punish me more than is necessary till it has to be obvious to everyone that the punishment is unjust. Punishers are unjust. All authority right now stinks to high hell. Therefore, there is no good and bad. X cannot be bad. It is necessary to go to as many extremes as possible. As soon as Johnny sees Janie, he wants to have sex with her. Johnny takes out his cock and rubs it. He walks over to Janie, puts his arms around her shoulders, so he's pinning her against a concrete wall. Johnny says, you're always talking about sex. Are you gonna spread your legs for me like you spread your legs all the time for any guy you don't know? Janie replies, I'm not fucking anymore because sex is a prison. It's become support of this post-capitalistic system like art. Businessmen who want to make money have to turn up a product that people will buy and want to keep buying. Since American consumers now own every object there is, plus they don't have money anyway because they're being squeezed between inflation and depression, just like fucking, these businessmen have to discover products that obvious necessity sells. Sex is such a product. Just get rid of the puritism, sweetheart. Your parents spoon-fed you in between materialism, which the sexual re revolution did thanks to the free love and hippies. Sex is a terrific hook. Sexual desire is a naturally fluctuating phenomenon. The sex product represents a naturally expanding market. Now, capitalists are doing everything they can to bring the world sexual desire to an unbearable edge. I don't want to be hurt again. Getting hurt or rejected is more dangerous than I know, because now, every time I get sexually rejected, I get dangerously physically sick. I don't want to hurt again. Every time I hurt, I feel so disgusted with myself that by following some stupid body desire I didn't have to follow, I killed the tender nerves of someone else. 
I retreat into myself. I again become frigid. I never have fun. Johnny says, you want to be as desperate as possible, but you don't have to be desperate. You're going to be a success. Everyone knows you're going to be a success. Wouldn't you like to give up this artistic life, which you know isn't rewarding because artists now have to turn their work selves into marketable objects, fluctuating images, fashion, have to com competitively knife each other in the back because we're not people. We can't treat each other like people. No feelings. Loneliness comes from the world of rationality. Robots, everything, one as objects defined separate from each other. The whole impetus for art in the first place is gone. Bye bye. You know you want to get away from this media world. Janie replies, I don't know what I want now. I know the New York City world is more complex and desirable, even though everything you're saying is true. I don't know what my heart is because I'm corrupted. Become here again, love. You have to will. You can do what you will. Then love will enter your heart. I'm not capable of loving anymore. I'm a freak. Love's an obsession that only weird people have. I'm going to be a robot for the rest of my life. This is confusing to be a human being, but robotism is what's present. It's unnatural to be sexless. You eat alone, and that's freaky. I am lonely out of my mind. I am miserable out of my mind. Open. Open what you are touching me. Touching me. Now I'm going into the state where desire comes out like a monster. Sex, I love you. I'll do anything to touch you. I've got to fuck. Don't you understand? Don't you have needs as much as I have needs? Don't you have to get laid?